Here we have for sale our 2017 on a 17 plate Volkswagen Transporter. This is a T6, which is the shape. This particular van is a T32, meaning it's got a 3.2 ton gross vehicle weight. This one has got the 2 litre TDI diesel engine producing 150 brake horsepower and on this van is accompanied with a 6 speed manual gearbox and this is the short wheelbase Highline Combi van. What we're going to do in this video is have a little walk around and show you the spec that you get on a Highline Combi. This one has had a camper conversion completed to it uh, by a company called New Wave Custom Conversions if you are familiar with them, if not I urge you to go and check out some of uh, of their work, but you'll see some in just a second on the inside of this van. And we'll also have a good look at the condition in detail as well, seeing as this vehicle is actually available for sale at the time of recording. So starting here then at the rear of the vehicle, this combi is specced with a rear glazed tailgate. So a tailgate is one door which opens up like so, and glazed meaning it has a window allowing you some uh, light and visibility out of the rear of the vehicle. We can see then the first thing which has been sort of changed or added to this vehicle and that is a nice gloss black rear spoiler and I think all in all when you tie that in with the roof bars as well which have also been added and they've got cross bars I think it ties it in quite nicely indeed. Having a look then at the condition of the tailgate and I must be said looking here at the rear of the vehicle it's looking very very nice indeed there's a little sort of I think that's just a yeah, little watermark just there uh, but all in all looking very clean and tidy indeed. We can also see that we have got a nice carbon fibre rear bumper protector on top of the rear bumper and on a Highline you get rear parking sensors as standard. You also get a number of elements which come colour coded on a Highline. So that gives you the bumpers, uh, rear and the front, the door handles all round uh, and usually the wing mirrors but uh, you'll see in just a second that they have also been changed. One little sort of tip for you when you look at the back of a transporter, it's got TDI and you've got one red badge like that on this year, that'll tell you that this is a 150. If you've got none, that'll tell you it's a 102 and if you've got more than one, that'll tell you it's a 204 on this age. So just a little tip for you there. If we open up the rear tailgate then we can start to have a look inside the rear of the vehicle and I think on this van those rear gas struts have been upgraded because it really does push that tailgate up with some force and I think probably the reason for that is because during the conversion this is the compartment here I don't know how well you'll be able to see this on the video because it's very very bright out here today uh, but this is the compartment for the table uh, and as a new wave have just got this absolutely fantastic attention to detail so this pocket is just very well uh, very well made uh, on some vehicles you just see like maybe a couple of little clips holding the table in this is a really nice pocket and it's even got this little sort of etched in NWCC for new wave custom conversions there and then on the other side new wave in the carpet line in there and say if the camera will focus you'll be able to see that there but just a very very nicely done and even little details like this they've cut out the carpet and they've actually got sort of a suede or alcantara inlay in there around the button for the rear tailgate release from the inside so as I say just very uh, that sort of just gives you a bit of a flavor of the attention to detail that they go to curtains on the rear window as well because of course you can sleep in here uh, now this doesn't really show you much from this angle but we have got in here a full width rib rock and roll bed not only is it a rib rock and roll bed but it's actually a sliding rock and roll bed uh, which is very very nice indeed having a look at this fascia board here at the back they have put two nice doors in here so you pop those out and that gives you some access then into the rear here uh, and I say most importantly if you needed to do anything with these seat belts uh, you've got access in there but you can start to see as I say there is some storage underneath these seats here as well if we shut this up then uh, I say you can see here the nice outro flooring and even just little details that you probably wouldn't notice but this rear trim here this rear plastic trim must have been cut down uh, to be able to get that uh, aluminium trim to go flush I say just little details like that uh, as a which just make the difference all in all I'll leave that up because it's actually quite difficult to close with one hand here in this video moving then down the passenger side of the vehicle then uh, you can see just how clean and straight this is down this uh, passenger side looking very very nice indeed lovely gloss to the paintwork of course and this is where we can see at the front here that we've also got gloss black 
uh, wing mirrors as well which I think tie in again just nicely with that rear uh, tailgate spoiler. We've also got the chrome sidebars on the vehicle and of course being a T32 you get the 17 inch uh, Davenport alloy wheels as standard on uh, this age as well and they look to be in really really good condition. If we open up the side loading door then we can start to have a look at the conversion which has been done in the back of here. So the layout that I've got this uh, set up at the moment, of course, this can all be changed. So there's a table here, a really good size table actually, uh, which uh, fits into the floor there, but there is in that door in there, there is a space to store the, uh, the leg for the table. And of course we showed you earlier uh, where you can uh, store the top of the table. But of course that can come away. And then as I say, you've got this very nice, uh, as a full width, rib bed and it is in this really smart uh, cream leather uh, as well. Being the rib bed you have got headrests so these headrests actually slide up as well and as I say you have got a little bar just under here and that allows you to actually slide the seat backwards and forwards. If you go on to at the end of the video uh, if you go on to our website to see the full advert of this vehicle uh, I've put two pictures on there to show you the two sort of positions and you'll also see as well that this bed actually all flips down into a full uh, bed as well and again there are pictures of that if you'd like to see uh, how that looks. Underneath then we've got this very nice Dometic fridge, it's a really good sized fridge, you have got adjustability here as well for of, uh, of the temperature which is very nice. Under here then a little cupboard space under there uh, and again just attention to detail if I pull this little bag out here so it's a little custom leather bag you can see on here new wave custom conversions and that is for your electric hookup cable and if I pull that out of the way you can actually start to see I say a really good sort of storage space under there as well but I say just attention to detail is absolutely second to none and you can just see how this is trimmed around the edge of the fridge very very nice indeed we've got some power sockets in the back of here so we've got some uh, is that a USB socket just there or two USB sockets actually on on this side uh, these little new wave uh, pillows to go along on your bed and then if we move over to the other side here we have this storage compartment so if we lift uh, lift this little cubby up here there's a bag in here a sports direct bag um, but that actually has the curtains for the front windows and if we pop this out here that's actually got your distribution board in there as well with all your fuses and things like that because of course this vehicle has got a leisure battery and as I say it has got the electric hookup as well. You've got your control panel on this side which of course is where you can turn things on or off like uh, the fridge etc. A couple of cup holders just there and if we go around to the other side we can see that we actually have two 230 volt three pin uh, plugs just there and then you've got a couple more USB points on this side as well. But as I say, just looking carefully here at the carpet lining, the way, as I say, just the way that it's finished, the details is very, very smart indeed. Looking towards the front then, with another little socket just there. That's more of a normal 12 volt socket. And then if we look at the front seats, so both of these seats swivel. I've just swiveled the one, just so you can see uh, kind of what it, uh, what it looks like and then when we go around to the driver's side you'll be able to see that in a normal driving position but both of these front seats swivel again if you go over to the full advert you will see uh, a picture of what that looks like uh, but they've done a really nice job of matching the trim on the uh, rib bed to these front seats so this is the uh, VW leatherette which you can spec from the factory it was a nice option actually I, I spec this when I had uh, a Volkswagen Transporter just uh, recently myself uh, and as I say they've matched that really nicely there in uh, in the back so of course you've got all the usual adjustment you've got the twin armrests uh, and as I say you can swivel it right around as well down below here then we've got actually some video and audio inputs as well now I know the previous owner of uh, this van uh, was actually in a media company uh, so would kind of maybe explain that uh, I say I don't uh, quite fully understand it but maybe something to have a play around with who knows what you can get playing on the screen up there another really nice detail then is the headlining in here and again this isn't just your uh, standard Alcantara or suede headlining these are actually individual pieces uh, very sort of labor intensive but just gives an absolutely fantastic finish inside the van and looking into the front of the vehicle then 
again the way that this has been all stitched around all the little details in here very very smart indeed if we shut the side loading door then continue to go around the outside of the van just having a good look here at this passenger side before we move on tiny little touch in just there maybe a little stone chip or something and so looking really really very nice tiny little is that a little tiny little mark just there on the paintwork but I say looking really smart indeed moving then around to the front of the vehicle nice optional extra on this van is that it has got the LED lights so the LED lights are much much improved from the standard headlights much brighter beam and it also gives you this very smart uh, LED daytime running light as well front fog lights come as standard on the Highline as well as a color-coded front bumper of course usual stone chips and things like that I can see uh, probably the most significant touch-up or mark on the van uh, say is, uh, is is just here and I say the bonnet there are quite a few stone chips on the bonnet as well I guess as to be expected with a vehicle of this sort of age and mileage but that's certainly worth noting as I say there are quite a few uh, stone chips you know we've touched them in and obviously polished the van and, and you know and things like that as well to improve it as much as possible uh, but as I say that is worth noting looking then down the driver's side of the vehicle then and again the theme very much continues very clean and straight here again probably most significant touch-ups to mention here just a couple of little marks just there show you those but all in all looking very nice there's a little pin dent just here as well I don't know if you can see that in the reflections there but there is a little you can just about see that in the reflection there a little pin dent just there Otherwise, not an awful lot to fault it on. If we open up the driver's door then, we can start to have a look inside the cab from this angle. So again, having a look at the driver's seat. Lovely condition here of the driver's seat. Twin adjustable armrests. Electric heated folding mirrors, which is an optional extra on this. Uh, electric windows come as standard, of course. Auto-activated lights and wipers. We can see we've got two full remote keys. Uh, nice over mats in here as well. New wave uh, over mats. I'm not sure how well you can see that with say the sunlight is so bright today but uh, say how much you can see of that I'm not entirely sure but very very clean and tidy in the cab here. Uh, leather multifunctioning steering wheel on the left hand side here then we've got your uh, cruise control settings on the right hand side you've got your uh, onboard computer control and that's where you can see the mileage there 60,356 miles and you can see there's no warning lights or anything like that on the dashboard it's all idling correctly as it should be six-speed manual gearbox as i mentioned at the start of the video that comes as standard on the 150 brake horsepower model that this is so plenty of power air conditioning absolutely crucial on a day like today is absolutely boiling but this aircon is lovely and cold heated front seats which uh, again is uh, an optional extra you've got a heated windscreen there's a usb point there there's actually two usbs in the glove box as well which is where i've got my phone plugged in uh, because this van has actually got apple carplay so this has got a kenwood um sat nav screen oh sorry sat nav screen has been uh, fitted which um, isn't from uh, factory of course but i say that does give you uh, apple carplay crucially which of course you can use things like your apple maps you can listen to your music via Spotify or Apple Music if you want to as well. So really, really good system. Of course, this unit has got uh, DAB radio as well as uh, standard. So you can link your phone up to there if you don't want to use uh, things like the App Connect. This vehicle has been right through our workshop as well. Upon arrival, we have done a uh, timing belt and water pump uh, replacement on the vehicle. We've done brake discs and pads all round as well so we really has been i say thoroughly through the workshop uh, as i say we've uh, given it a new mot also so it is ready to drive away today and be enjoyed straight away you could go camping in this vehicle literally this coming uh, weekend in this fantastic weather that we're having here at the moment and a fantastic uh, benefit of this van is there's no vat to pay as well if you'd like to see the full advert including the uh, photography the description and of course the price please head over to our website as i mentioned bridgenvans.co.uk this is where as i say you'll see all those pictures which i mentioned a bit earlier in the video about the different positions of the bed as i can't really show you uh, just on my own here with uh, one hand available uh, but as i say if you head over there you'll see all those different uh, positions for the bed really really versatile van if 
uh, you'd like to inquire, we will welcome inquiries on either of the numbers listed there at the bottom of the sign. We can arrange finance on all of our vehicles, including uh, this one here, uh, with very competitive uh, interest rates, even in the climate that we are currently in, with our uh, interest rates moving all the time. But as I say, we will make sure that we've got very competitive interest rates for you, starting as low as 7.9% APR. We can take cars or vans in part exchange and we can deliver our vehicles nationwide as well. Thank you very much for watching.